In the last presentation, I introduced you to the concept of dictionaries and we have learned how to create a dictionary. Now in this presentation, we will learn how to access dictionary items. So let's get started with this presentation and see all the topics of this presentation. The first topic is accessing values using key names. The second topic is accessing values using get method. The third topic is accessing keys using keys method. Fourth topic is accessing values using values method. And the fifth topic is accessing items using items method. Let's start with the first topic that is accessing values using key names. Now, how to access values using key names? We can follow the following syntax. First, we need to type the name of the dictionary. Then within square brackets, we can specify the name of the key whose value we want to access. For example, let's open our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. Now let's type this dictionary car equal to brand Audi and model Q7. Let's say we are interested in accessing this value Audi. We can access this value by specifying the name of its key within square brackets. In order to do this, let's hit enter and type car brand. Now let's again hit enter. We will get Audi as the result. I hope it is clear how to access a value of a dictionary. Now let's move on to the next topic that is accessing values using get method. Let's understand how we can use get method to access values of a dictionary. For this, we need to follow the syntax. We first need to type the name of the dictionary, then dot and then get. Within parentheses, we can specify the name of the key whose value we want to access. For example, let's open our command prompt once again and let's consider the same car dictionary with two key value pairs, brand Audi and model Q7. This time also we are interested in accessing this value, but this time we want to access this value through get method. For this, we will first type the name of the dictionary, then dot, then get, and then within parentheses, we must type brand. So let's type car dot get brand. Now let's hit enter. We will get the same value Audi. Now let's move on to the next topic that is accessing keys using keys method. How to access keys using keys method? If instead of values, we are interested in accessing keys, we can do that as well. For this, we can use this keys method. Keys method returns a view object containing keys as a list. So it returns an object called view object, which contains a list, which consists of keys of a specific dictionary. Now the question is, what is this view object? View object reflects any changes done to the dictionary. So if we make any changes to the dictionary, then those changes will be reflected to this object called view object. So we can view the changes of the dictionary. Now let's see the syntax. First, we need to type the name of the dictionary, then dot and then keys. Now let's open our command prompt to understand how to access keys of a dictionary and how a view object looks like. Let's open our command prompt and let's consider the same car dictionary with two key value pairs. Now let's say that we are interested in accessing the keys of this dictionary. For this, we can type car keys equal to car dot keys. Here I have created a variable called car keys and I have made it point to the view object which is returned by car dot keys. Car dot keys will return a view object and that view object will be pointed by car keys. Now let's hit enter and type car keys to check the view object. Let's hit enter again. We will get this view object dict keys, which consists of a list of all the keys of this dictionary called car. So we have a total of two keys, brand and model. Let's say that we decided to add a new key in this list called fuel type. So we can type this car fuel type equal to diesel. Let's say the fuel type is diesel. So we have typed car fuel type equal to diesel. Let's hit enter. And now let's check 
whether car keys is updated or not. So let's type car keys and let's hit enter again. We can observe that the view object is updated. Here we have a total of three keys, brand, model and fuel type. So with this we can observe that view object reflects any changes done to the dictionary. Now, as we have understood how to access keys using keys method, let's move on to the next topic that is accessing values using values method. We can access all values of a dictionary using values method. We must understand this that values method also returns a view object containing values as a list and the syntax is dict name that is dictionary name dot values. Let's again open our command prompt and consider the same car dictionary. Now let's type car values equal to car dot values. This time we are accessing values of this dictionary. Now let's hit enter and type car values to see the view object. Let's hit enter again. We will get this view object which consists of two values RD and Q7. Let's say we decided to add a new key value pair in this dictionary called fuel type diesel. So fuel type is the key and diesel is the value. So let's type car fuel type equal to diesel. Now let's hit enter and now let's check whether car values is updated or not. Let's type car values and let's hit enter. We are getting this view object with three values Audi, Q7 and diesel. So with this I hope it is clear how to access all values of a dictionary using values method. Now let's move on to the next topic that is accessing items using items method. An item is a key value pair of a dictionary and if we are interested in all key value pairs then we can use items method. Items method also returns a view object but it contains items as a list and the syntax is as follows. First we need to type the name of the dictionary then dot and then items. Now let's understand how to access items of a dictionary. For this we will consider the same example dictionary car. Let's say we are interested in accessing all items of this dictionary. For this we can type car items equal to car dot items. Let's hit enter and type car items. Let's hit enter again. We'll get this view object with a list of all the items. Here the first item is brand Audi and second item is model Q7. Let's say we decided to add a new item in this car dictionary called fuel type diesel. So let's type car fuel type equal to diesel. Let's hit enter. And now let's check car items whether it is updated or not. For this we will type car items and now we will hit enter. We are now getting this updated view object with a total of three items. The first item is brand Audi. The second item is model Q7 and the third item is fuel type diesel. So with this it is clear how to access items of a dictionary. And with this, we are done with all the topics of this presentation. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.